All right, I told you guys I would be back later tonight with my 2023 wish list, and uh, here it is. I'm going to run down through all the books that I am currently hunting for this upcoming year. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are hunting. I love hearing what the other people are finding, and if you have any of the books that I have, feel free to tag me, share them, give me some uh, some hope. Let me see uh, these books are out there, and these are books that I'll be able to get, hopefully, you know, as well. Uh, hopefully you're still enjoying the channel and everything else we have here. I got plenty of new stuff coming for you in 2023. Go check out the shorts. Uh, make sure you're liking, subscribing, hit the alert button, check out the memberships. Uh, I revamped the whole process uh, for memberships. So uh, consider consider joining up and we're going to be doing some uh, members only content. Uh, just little extras, 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 special little things for members uh, going forward. Uh, and just, I don't know, a lot of fun things coming your way from Renovision in 2023. I'm excited. And hopefully you guys are excited because uh, I do this, you know, I do this because I love it, and hopefully you're enjoying it. And uh, with that, and if you want to see what books that I'm hunting for for 2023, just hang on for a few seconds after the intro. I will be right back. So here is my wish list for 2023. These are the top 10 books that I am hunting for at this moment in time. Now, we are going to start off my uh, top 10 list outside of the top 10, just like last year. I want to give you a couple of extras. And uh, here's my first book. This is an honorable mention, so it's not part of the list, but honorable mention is Zatanna number 15. This is not a variant. This is an Adam Hughes cover. As you guys know by now, I'm a big Adam Hughes fan. I do not have this book. I did not get it when it was affordable, and now it's gotten pricey. This is Zatanna number 15, near the end of the run, black cover, tough to find in high grade, and uh, it's just gotten pricey on me. So there are copies out there, but the copies want 150 bucks raw and 700 to $800 for uh, nine-eighths. I just don't want to shell out that kind of dough. This was more of a $40, $30, $40 book that I could have gotten for like those prices. And I didn't. Now I have a hard time, you know, quadrupling that or quintupling that, I guess, to hit up to 150 because 150 is just, ah, it's just too much for me for this book. I want it, but I don't know if I want it for that price. Um, recently sold books just to give me some hope. There was a copy that sold for only $25, but that copy was pretty damaged, so I don't know if I would have spent 25 bucks on that best offer. We're all sold for 250 which is, again, way more than I would have shelled out. Even if it is a 9.8 candidate, that's still a little too steep for me. And then 9.6 sold at auction for about 152 That's closer. I mean, I'll do a 9.6 for around that price, but I probably would rather have it more in the 100 to $120 range. But again, I'm just telling you my dream, my wish list. This is where I'm looking for it at. Whether I find it at those prices, I will see. But, uh, you know, these are just the books I'm looking for. So this was on the honorable mention because it kind of pairs up with what is my number 10 book. Uh, and that's the next book, another Hughes book. So my number 10 is number 16, the final issue, uh, Satana book. You guys know I'm a big fan of the uh, final issues. I got the new short series, uh, The Last to Know, which is uh, an homage and a thank you to uh, my buddy Jason Shaw, who used to write for comicbookinvest.com. He used to do that article. So uh, I'm doing a little video because I also like those final issues. Uh, so go check out the short uh, over on the channel. That said, this final issue is tough. This is uh, not tough, but it's another one of those pricey ones. Uh, you're not, I'm not going to find it in a regular shop for like 20 bucks anymore or $40 or whatever, but Satana number 16, their copies, once again, they're out there, uh, copies that sold for, uh, oh, I think I got these backwards. So the sold copies, uh, have recently sold for 120 bucks, best offer on 125 and, uh, a nine, six sold at auction for 200 bucks. And I think the available, yep. I flip flopped them. So the available copies on this are about 125 to 150 raw, just like the number 15, just a little too steep for the raw books for me. I uh, definitely wouldn't want them under 100 Maybe the pair for around that price, but I don't know. Still, that's still a little much. I'm, like, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping I find them cheaper. 
uh, maybe hit up some cons this year and uh, see if I can find it uh, on a deal. And a 9.8 wants a grand. So there's no way I'm paying a grand for a 9.8 for this book. As much as I'd like one, it, that's an unnecessary expense for me. Uh, I do love getting a 9.8. I'm sure everybody does. But I am not one that needs to have all 9.8s in my collection. I will get whatever copy that I can get and can afford. If you saw what I did with 2022's list, getting that uh, you know, little damaged uh, Neff box exclusive. Because, hey, price is right. I'd rather have that than not have anything at all. So. With that said, uh, we're going to stick with Hughes. I know you guys are going to get tired of hearing about Adam Hughes, but I like Adam Hughes. So our next book is also an Adam Hughes book, and it's another one of those oddball things that I'm going to have a tough time finding for a price that I can afford. And this is Dollman, um, number number 16, way back in 1997. This is a pretty cool uh, death cover, death from high, high cost of living. This is out of Spain. So uh, that's going to make this one tougher. So foreign books. I know not everybody's into the foreign collecting. I only dabble a tiny, tiny bit. And this is probably one that's on my wish list. Uh, I mean, it probably is. I mean, it is on my wish list. So I've been looking for it for a little bit and uh, just haven't gotten lucky yet. This is a book that, you know, copies available. They're there, but they're expensive. So I don't want to shell out you know, $360, $600, or even $1,500 for a raw copy of this. As much as I like Adam Hughes and I like this cover, I don't like it that much. So let's see if I can get lucky and find one for a more affordable price for me. Uh, some of the recent sales give me a not much hope. <laughs> I was going to say give me a little bit, but no, not too much hope. Because even raw copies that have sold back in November were $425, $350, best offer on $350. That's still a bit much. I'd Hoping to get one, maybe a hundred bucks somewhere down the line. Maybe people forget about it. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, but that's really all I want to do. But yeah, again, you let me know what you think and tell me the tell me your stories too down in the comments section. Uh, hit me up on uh, IG with a DM. I I don't mind. I I love talking comics, so I love hearing other people's stories, and it uh, gives me some. Uh, you know, it makes me feel like I'm not alone when I can't find a book or uh, I paid a little bit more, but I had to do it. Like. I feel better when other people do the same thing that I do. So hopefully this helps you as well. Uh, some of you can't get everything you want. So uh, it's sometimes you get those heartbreaking stories where you're like, damn, I had a shot and I missed it. it happens to me all the time. It happens to me all the time. So I'm with you. Up next, this is uh, my number eight book. Our number eight book is going to DC. You guys know I don't do a lot of DC, but there are some DC books that I do still want into my collection. And this one, this number eight, is a pretty awesome uh, Lobo cover by uh, Doug Mankey. I think it's Mankey. I'm pronouncing his name right. This is a Green Lantern, Green Lantern number 55, uh, one in 25 incentive. So it's an homage to, uh, you know, 40, uh, was it 49? The Hal Jordan when he had all the rings. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool Lobo cover, and this one's gotten pricey. This is another one I missed the boat on when it was affordable, when this was like a $50 variant, uh, because these days, it ain't 50 bucks anymore. It's a, There was one up for 200 bucks uh, at auction. I don't know what happened with it uh, when I did the deck, and uh, 350 raw, 525 for 98. It's just a little out of the range I'm comfortable you know, shooting for. Uh, and then sold copies recently, 180 180 raw, $200 raw, 220 for a 94, and then 500 bucks for a 98. Still, it's not giving me uh, much of a hope that I'm going to luck into one for cheaper. But I'm going to, you know, keep shooting and we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, 180 is a bit too much. Once again, I, I once I start crossing the, you know, triple digits, I start really slowing and say, do I need this book? Why do you want this book? Do you need this book now? Can you wait? And those, you know, the conversations you have with yourself when you're either trying to talk your in, yourself into something or out of something. So far, I haven't found one that uh, fits my criteria for what I'm willing to pay and what's available. So we'll see what happens in 2023. It's early, only a couple of days in. But my next book is also a DC book, which I'm sure will make Corbin happy that I'm looking for DC books. And this is one I've liked for a while as well. This is uh, number seven on my list. Adventure Comics, number 515. This is also a 1 in 25 incentive. Uh, I believe this is a Lee Bermejo cover. Uh, pretty gorgeous, awesome dark side cover. Uh, I mean, it is just a face shot, but I don't know. It, it's got an intimidating stare. I dig it. I like it. But haven't found one for a price. Haven't found one for a price, and the prices have gone up a bit. Like, this was not that expensive when I was first looking, but now you can look. Copies available, 450 raw. Fifteen hundred dollars raw and twelve hundred dollars for a ninety. Uh, all of which, no, I can't, can't do it. A little too much. Uh, and recently sold copies on nine eight sold for over eight hundred bucks. 
uh, out of the UK. So with that shipping, it was 900 bucks for a 9.8. And again, I don't need this in 9.8. I'd rather shoot for something like this raw and for a much cheaper price. But well, let's see if I get lucky. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of those ones. I have to get lucky, just like the ones I didn't get last year. Uh, it's not that things, it could be tough to find, but sometimes the price, it may not meet that level that I'm willing to pay. So I'll just keep waiting. I can be patient. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I don't plan on stopping collecting comics anytime soon. So I'll keep looking. I'll keep hunting. Uh, that said, let's move on to number six on my list. This is another one I've been looking for, not for a long, long time, but in the last year or so, I've been hunting these Darkwing Duck variants. Uh, and now they're getting tougher to find because now that the new series is out, it's flooding my searches with uh, new books that I'm not looking for. I'm looking for the old incentive variants. And I think I talked about these already on Chasing Ghosts. But number six, this is my, probably my favorite of the, the group. This is Darkwing Duck number four. It's only a one in ten, so it's not a high ratio incentive, but it is a kid's book. It's a Darkwing Duck book after all. It's a you know, it's a boom book, but uh, it's just one that I think is cool. I like this uh, old school kind of a uh, old timey movie poster type of cover. It uh, kind of fits the mood and the uh, the mood of Darkwing Duck. It has that kind of like almost Batman animated series, that kind of timeless. Uh, well, I mean, not even timeless. Even it does have that aged kind of feel to it. But uh, this book, once again. There's a copies out there. It's just 300 bucks raw, 90 bucks raw. Uh, 90 is not terrible, but do I really want to spend 90 bucks on a one in 10 Darkwing Duck book? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they do accept best offer, but with that $10 shipping, there's probably not a lot of wiggle room. I don't know. Hammond and Hawn, we'll see. Uh, it's just one of those things. I'm hoping to just luck into this for much cheaper, but probably not going to get that lucky. Uh, recently resold copies, there have been none. No copies sold, so I can't give myself a sense of what the market's actually paying uh, to say, well, you know what? One sold for only 40 bucks. So maybe I can get it for 50. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll see, but I'm going to keep looking, keep hunting, keep searching, keep digging and uh, see if I get lucky. All right. That is the first half. So let's get into the top half of my wish list. These are things that I'm really hoping, hoping I can really add. Not that I don't want these five books that I just went through and the honorable mention. I do want them. It's just, I can be patient. I don't need them right now. These rest ones, the rest of the, of the list, I feel like if I don't get them soon, I may never. But we'll see. Uh, and that first one is number five, this Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2, number one. Yes, this is a 1 in 50 incentive. It's a Tedesco cover. It's gorgeous. Uh, still want this book. Uh, I did cover Tedesco on my uh, artist retrospective when I was doing it as its own show um, just last year. Now I've done it, do that as now a small part of Hidden Gems. But uh, you guys know I love art and I love artists. So this is one I really want. I really want one in my collection. I just haven't found one I can uh, shell out the bucks for because right now this is five to seven hundred dollars raw. Yeah, five seven hundred dollars raw uh, for this one of fifty and two grand for nine eight. I think I missed the window on this one when it would have been like, all right, 100, 150. Yeah, maybe, but not now. Not now. I don't think I can do this now, but we'll see. Uh, recently sold copy and 9.6 did sell. Best offer on 550. So it took 420. Still uh, more than I want to shell out, but we'll see. We'll see what happens in the upcoming year. Maybe something will happen and I can sell a big book and then I just trade those funds to get this book. Who knows? Well, that's why it's number five. Hopeful, but uh, we'll see. Just like. Again, Nakayama is another one of my uh, favorites. And this was another book that I didn't buy when it came out because it was a high ratio incentive and I didn't want to spend the money. You know, it, it was what it is. You know, a lot of variants, especially when they come out, they uh, they drop in price. Not many, not all of them go up. So uh, I didn't want to shell out big bucks at the outset, but I missed the window. So tarot number one, this infinity cover, uh, Scarlet Witch, one in 50 incentive. Granted, this one got uh, a big spike with WandaVision early last year. I think that also helped drive up the price. And when prices get driven so high, they don't always come back down that far. That becomes a new floor. It, it kind of gets set because people start shelling out more to buy their copies that they're not willing to really lose money to get rid of a book. Because why do they just need to get rid of it? That said, copies out there right now, 350 uh, There's two. Yeah, I found two raw copies for 350 That's still i can't do 350 for one and i know it's a one in 50 but that's just still not what i'm want, wanting to put out so we'll see i'll be patient and see if i can get lucky find one for cheaper because here's a couple copies i'm closer these are closer one in 25 125 140 best offer then there was a 320 on a was that a 98 yeah 98 sold for 320 
uh, those are more I'd be willing to do. If I had the extra cash, I'd be looking more at those prices, but that's not what's available, so it's not my collection yet. Now, here we go to the top three. Gonna be tough. Want these. But at least two of these are very, very pricey. Number three, J. Scott Campbell. You guys also know I buy a plenty of the J. Scott Campbell in uh, mystery boxes. Yeah, I know there's no chance, but still, there's like a one-tenth of a percentage hope in the back of my head that it's a mystery box, and maybe this will be in there. I know that's not the case. This has been sold out for a long time, but for whatever, there's still that dream in my head, like this scratch-off kind of dream. Like Maybe it'll be... But I just like getting uh, Campbell's art, and I like uh, getting those mystery boxes. But this one's been sold out for a while. This is Black Cat number one. Uh, this was a store exclusive uh, from Campbell's store. It's an homage to that uh, It's like a famous French poster. Like, college kids would have this in their rooms. Uh, the I forget, it's Le Cat Noir. I don't know, it's Black Cat. It's a basically and it's the Black Cat. It's a perfect, you know, homage. It's a great idea. That's why I want it. It's well-drawn, well-thought-up perfect melding of uh, ideas uh but with that comes a heavy price copies are out there it's not that it's impossible there are copies but they're expensive 1250 for a raw i i can't be shelling out a grand for a store exclusive i just can't i just won't let me do it nope and nine eights 1500 1700 i mean i get it it's limited uh, i think this was limited maybe to 1500 copies maybe more i don't know but even at that i can't i can't it's my, my uh, my sensibilities just won't let me pay that much for a store exclusive. And this been like an incentive variant. For some reason, I might view it differently. I don't know why that is, but I do. I view it differently because it's like, well, I don't know. I guess fabricated rarity. Not fabricated, but I don't know, whatever you want to call it. That said, copies sold are not making me uh, feel like I'm going to be able to score this book. I mean, 716 for uh, SS98 is isn't terrible i guess for this impossible to find book i'm not a big sig guy but uh if i had to i guess uh because the other one that sold was also a signature series and that one sold for almost 1300 dollars uh for a 98 uh granted the one 700 bucks was at auction and it was cbcs uh so i don't think it's like that far of a price differential i think it's just because the one was at auction and the other one was a buy it now so i think that's where the difference is it's tough it's tough meeting that uh, price point when you do auctions because you got to make sure you're finding the audience that's looking for that book uh, while you have your auction up. But that said, this was my number three, and it's just so darn pricey. I'm probably not going to be able to add it, but I'm hoping, hoping before it gets even further out of reach. Uh, number two, this is one I really, really want, uh, and I should have bought it when it first came out because I haven't seen it since. Uh, one did come up. I took a shot at it. I missed. I was probably being cheap. I just should have bought it for the outright price, and somebody else bought it. But Mega Man 2. Uh, Mega Man Master Mix, uh, number two. You guys have seen I cover this series, I think, on Chasing Ghosts. I've got number one, which has that uh, Uncanny X-Men homage. I got the rock and roll uh, that anime thing that on number three, that homage. I actually found an extra one at uh, at Baltimore just this past, uh, you know, past Baltimore Comic Con. But this is a one in ten for this. Uh, it's, it's a pricier book, too. It's a thick uh, backwards. It's also backwards because it's like a, a manga style uh, comic book. But Mega Man Master Mix number two, the one in ten incentive. Uh, it's cover box to Mega Man. Like I, it's perfect homage. Mega Man two cover box for Mega Man two. Like I want this, but ah, no copies are out there. That's what's going to make this one tough. There's no copies out there, and there have been no copies sold recently. As I said, one came up this past year in 2022. I was looking as well. One came up this past year, and I think it was closer to 100 bucks, and I didn't want to pay 100. Uh, so I made an offer and it just didn't work out and then it was gone. So, you know, oh no, that's what it was. The person was a seller. It was recently the seller sold it at a, a show. Like they didn't take it down. So I made an offer and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I already sold this book and it was gone. So, oh, well missed shot and a missed, but we'll see. Maybe another one will come up. Uh, cause this is definitely one I want to add. I need to finish that, uh, one in 10 X, you know, set. There's no, there's only four issue run, but there's only one in tens on one, two, and three. I got one, I got three. I need number two, and I want this cover. Now, for my number one book, I didn't put this on my wish list for 2022 because at the time I also did a grail list, and this was on my grail list. And I just figured reasonably I wasn't going to put it on the list because I probably wouldn't shell out the bucks. But hey, who knows? I spent some money on some big books this past year uh, that I didn't think I was going to. So maybe I can do it this upcoming year, especially if I can sell some stuff. I don't know. We'll see. 
We'll see. But our, my number one book that I'm looking for for this year is this one. Yes, the Prince Purple Rain homage, G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, number 19. This is the one in 10 incentive. I love this book. Love it. I, I've got a couple of the uh, homages to this book. That's not even homage to the poster. The homage to this comic book from other comic artists. But I just want this one. I do. It's awesome cover. I'm a big G.I. Joe fan. I, I want this one in my collection. But, but there's one available. Only one. One seventy five hundred dollars for a nine eight. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm out. I can't. Nope. I can't play in that yard. That yard's over there. I can't play over there. At that price, I can't do it. Granted, I'd hope to find a more raw book, maybe a little more affordable, but chances are going to be slim that that's going to happen because I think everybody who's got one of these has probably slabbed it by now. Uh, but one did sell in October, a 9-2, one bid for 500 bucks. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for a 9-2, but that's the kind of a compromise I might have to make this year if I can find one. I might have to buy like a lower grade one uh, just to get one, like I did with that Neff Box Afro. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see if I can get lucky and add this one because, like I said, this one I want before it gets even tougher and more expensive because uh, that's where a lot of these books go. This is, an, this is a classic. To me, this is an all-time classic, so I want it in my collection. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, once again, thanks for stopping by and uh, checking this out. I appreciate you all for all the support. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully uh, you guys got some books that you want to share with me. Tell me what's on your wish list for this year. Uh, you know, Tag me on your Instagram posts. Put it down in the comments below. Let me know what books you're hunting. And uh, maybe it's something else that I'm also looking for. And I can tell you and be like, yeah, me too. Or I might have a lead for you. Who knows? Let's help each other out. This is a community after all. Uh, so uh, with that, thanks again. Uh, don't worry. Hidden Gems will be back next week. As I said, I'm adding a new little uh, segment to it. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, and, uh, yeah, plenty more stuff coming for your way in 2023. So, uh, thank you again, and I'll be back soon with some more content. All right. Later.